My name is Jack Spot, and they used to call me the governor. And all I did was to defend the Jews. I was always on the spot where Jews were being sorted out. You never knew that? That's why they called me Jack Spot. Everybody in the line had a nickname. I was fighting every minute because they used to hate Jews like poison. A tailor couldn't, they wouldn't pay for a suit. You order a suit and they make, make, they come there, they wouldn't pay. They went away racing. They had bets with Jewish bookmakers and never paid. You understand what I mean? When they lost, they wouldn't pay no money. So what function, what did you do for these tailors or for any other East End shopkeeper? Well, I used to stand there. Once I was there, they paid for everything. My brother learned to be a barber. It took a very long time. And whenever I come by, I used to hide it and lock up the razors. I used to take razors from him. Holograms. A hologram is a wide-fitting razor. A French razor is a thin blade. I knew all them. So I had to use a razor sometimes because they never come one-handed, always a mob. So when they quit, bomb, 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 and they used to run for their lives up the arse around here, but I made sure not to rip, cut them on the jaguar vein. Why, why not? Once you cut in the jaguar vein, you're finished. So you didn't, you didn't want to finish them? Of course not. I don't end up for murder, do I? I got a fellow once looking for, to shoot me. What was his name? And I said, you looking with me? He said, yes. And as he called the Louvre out, I'll give him a cut round here. The scenic railway. These bastards. I was never afraid. Sand down, Epsom. All the modern tracks. You see? At Epsom, I controlled Epsom. I had to go with bookmakers, Jewish bookmakers, and stand by the bag. Because they were being robbed non-stop. And if anybody had a bet with them, they wouldn't pay. But if they won, they won the money. Billy Hill was a small time operator. You understand? And when he came out of prison, he knew that I was running clubs and all that, so he tried to me that he wanted to. So I said, okay. So I took him to my tailor, made him a suit and all that. And behind my back, he's planning my life away. What a bastard. Eh? You tell everybody he's a yid. You don't want no yid to be a governor. I've been hearing stories about what he's going to do to me and all this. You see? And I go to Thrift Street, and there he is standing in Thrift Street by a fruit shop. I walk over and, ch and hit him on the chin. He runs away and goes into the fruit shop. I went in there, and then he took a knife to try and cut me. You understand? There was two knives supposed to be used, but only one was used that he had. I had no knife. The fruit of his wife hit me on the head with the scales. Smashed my head open with all the weights. I didn't know what it was all about. What did she have to do that for? He was nothing. Albert Dimes, he punched on that victory. And Billy all left him up and says, Well, he done Jack and all this crap. Which he never, he never done me. I was about the next day looking for him again, you know. They start cutting me here. You understand? They cut me from here, down here. They cut my ear, you see, on the floor, which I picked up later and put in my pocket. They cut me, stabbed me in my bed. If I showed you, I've got scars all over me. You understand? And I survived. 300 stitches they give me. He meant to skin me, murder me, and kill me, but it, it only worked. He got me no money. He's a wicked bastard. He, he succeeded in destroying you. He destroyed me, not bodily. He destroyed me, but he left me a bit broke. But thank God I had a good wife and my lovely children. I'm all right today.